Alright, let's kick this guy's ass. Uh, basically, out of the um, three Final Fantasy trio, Tidus I would consider to be the hardest to fight. Yeah, but at least he uses an actual something that could be a weapon. Yeah, well, he's got basic training, I suppose. Um, and you know how Sora can fight. At least it explains how he knows how to fight. But my question is, why are they, like, fighting each other as a form of, like, fun? I mean, when I was growing up, we didn't, like, hit each other. <laughs> well, okay, we c did kind of hit each other with sticks sometimes, but I don't know. It's just recreation. But for game... Yeah, since I've been a kid. Yeah, for game's sake, it's just implied that they're hitting themselves harder than usual. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Tidus, Tidus, whatever is done. I wonder if they'll ever make it so he meets Yuna. That would be kind of nice. He has met Yuna before. Oh, wait, you're, you're saying Tidus meets Yuna. Yeah, KH versions. No, they've never met, and it wouldn't make sense. They should. Sense. It, never makes sense. it would never make sense for them to meet. Well, they can be friends. A fairy and a whatever. You can be friends with a fairy. Yeah, okay. He does it all the time. <sighs> I hate you, Riku. Riku 4. Kick his ass. You'll what his ass? Kick his ass. Very good. Ugh. Riku is a pain because he blocks most of your attacks. He also has that annoying flip kick that he does sometimes. There you go. There no, you I go. haven't beat uh, Riku here on the Destiny Islands, but it doesn't matter because at Hollow Bastion I totally whooped his ass. And man, that's so cheap. If you fall out, you lose. Yeah, it is, but at least it's like American Gladiators in that sense. Uh-huh. Which they really need to put back on the air. That was an awesome show. Yeah, we had a UK version of that. It was pretty good. What was it called? UK Gladiators? or No, it was just called Gladiators. Oh. So I'm guessing the American version came after the UK one. Yeah, we kind of... We do tend to get a lot of shows from, like, the British version. Like, we got, uh... We took Who's Line and we adapted that. Uh-huh. It ours had, like, Jim Carrey hosting. Jim Carrey owns. I mean, not Jim Carrey. Blah. Drew Carrey. You person. What? I mixed it up. It happens. True, true. What's weird is that Colin Mockery was in, um, both versions. I didn't really know where he's from, anyway. Yeah. Alright, Riku. Time for Ron Sue. Let's try this scene again. Indeed. Yes, we are playing for keeps now, Riku. It's wooden, he has a wooden sword as well, I just noticed. That's kind of cool. It kind of... Well, I mean, they're kids. It's been a while since I've been a kid. I guess I'm kind of nostalgic. Uh-huh. That's what it. happens when you grow up. Indeed. Just kick his ass already. That's so hard because he blocks all the time. Indeed. Especially when he's taunting. And if you're in the middle of an attack, while he's about to do that kick, you can't dodge it. I know, that's annoying. And he, he can't hit him when he's taunting. Which doesn't make sense, because you would think that taunting would leave you open to attacks. Indeed. They do that in Street Fighter, why not here? Yep. Maybe he's like a cypher when he's doing the invincible taunt. Uh-huh. I'm but he, so and he's not doing like, isn't this romantic? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have so much resentment towards Riku because of Riku 4 from Chain of Memories. Oh, yeah, that was a bitch. Indeed. You know, like I said, I kicked his ass as Hollow Bastion, I kicked his ass in Chain of Memories too. Uh, yeah. But he breaks through your attacks as well. And he's like really Don't fast. You, like, get some when you beat him though? You get more experience points, yeah. Oh well, maybe next time. Well, fuck you, Riku. Yes, indeed. Go die. Die in a fire. You know, I could have used that high potion during the fight. Nah, you want to save it. Pfft, whatever. Well, it's not that important, like I said. I mean, in the end... <laughs> Destiny Islands ain't gonna be here no more, kids. Oh, thank you for that spoiler, Hell Dragon. I well, I mean, if they wanna get, if they don't wanna be spoiled, they can go play it themselves. Come on. Yeah, but you can at least mention it at the actual part. 
Okay, maybe I'll just put a disclaimer. Spoiler! <laughs> then you can pause it real quick. Speaking of pause, I love the fact that you can pause the cutscenes. Well, don't you have to do that to skip them? No, you can only do that in Kingdom Hearts 2. Well, why didn't they just let me do that in Kingdom Hearts 1? That's dumb. I don't want to watch this like... No, you want to know... Yeah, you want to know what's really bad. Um, going on the Maleficent fight with a long opening cutscene, losing and then having to watch it all again. I hate that in RPGs when that happens. Yeah. Because you have to watch it over and over and over and it's a pain in the ass. Especially if it's a particularly tricky boss, like the Maleficent Dragon. I kicked her ass on second try. <laughs> yeah. She's still tough, though. Uh huh. I'm just loving how good the quality is on this. Oh yeah, it's turned it turned out really good. Yeah, especially because the thing I got was ten pound. Ten pound. Ten pounds. You know, equivalent to fifteen dollars. I don't know the conversion rate. Right? What the dazzle? No, the um, scart box, which feeds oh. which feeds the data to the dazzle. Oh, okay. Yeah. So well, hey, it worked, so it was ten pounds well spent. Indeed. Um, for those of you who like FPS, Half Life Two, um, me and Great Zombie Ron will be starting a playthrough of that on Friday. He'll be playing. We'll both be doing commentary. I'll be recording and whatnot. I'll be watching it. I won't be there for people who like me. Uh huh. Hell no. Dra yeah, Hell Dragon will be in Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, any others you want to do? Well, I'm doing Fire Red, I know that. Thanks, Hell Oh wait, no, that wasn't a secret, wasn't it? Never mind. Yeah, po <laughs> Pokemon Fire Red. Any Zelda games you want to be a part of? Hmm, which ones are you going to play? I think the better question is which ones have I got? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, um, Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time. I'm pretty sure I've got Majora's Mask somewhere. Uh, mini shit. Um, yeah, just go on, say it. You should do Oracle Seasons and Ages. I didn't really like the Oracle Season. Yeah, those the, were badass. Well, anything that I haven't got, I can get by ROM. So that's true. Uh, Minish Cup. Yeah, this that's is a really really tall door. I know it's weird. But the it's completely useless because she Donald just walks into a smaller version. Come on. Uh, it's like, what, what else am I thinking of? Now, I was making a reference to this in the Mewtwo Strikes Back commentary. Yeah, there's like a thing with people in big doors. Yeah. Compensating for something. Obviously, Mickey is not here. Indeed. Dear Donald, I've abandoned the kingdom. Fuck off. <laughs> Slight pause, and... Fuck! <laughs> oh, I love how crazy Donald gets. Mm. You know it's weird that in the Japanese version of Kingdom Hearts, he sounds exactly like he does in Amer America? Yeah, I know, it's crazy. But it's kind of cool at the same time. Goofy kind of sounds like he does here as well, except Japanese. Yeah, but not not as much. He doesn't sound exactly like he does, but, you know, I'll live. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, um, Donald and Goofy um, are the court wizard and a knight, respectively. Yeah, I think Goofy's captain of the guard. And I like how in Final Fantasy Tradition, he's only covered one arm in armor, and the rest of it is basically bare. Isn't the helmet um, reminiscent of something? I'm trying to look at it closer. Like, you can't really see it that well. It's like a beak or something. Well, that looks like more of a traditional knight's helmet visor thing, just on his head instead. If you notice as well, Donald's wearing a lot of zippers on his thing. That's kind of a fetish of um, Namora, the guy who created it. The designer, yeah. Yeah. I didn't really get the uh, zipper thing either. Oh, well, just a fetish. So, um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Just stick a lot of zippers on. Yeah, that'll solve thing something. Uh huh. Sticky fingers. Yes. Did he just jump from the water? No, he jumped from a boat because this is not the actual place he lives. He lives on the islands behind. 
Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I guess I wasn't paying that much attention. Uh-huh. Okay, man. Ugh, Waka, he is quite the one. Forget you, Waka. You and your ball. <laughs> I'm racist against balls, I guess. Balls. <laughs> you know the final boss of Okami was a giant ball monster? Oh, thanks for that. What? Thanks for spoiling that. Go play it. <laughs> well, fuck you then. 